We've got a quite a varied number of films actually from stop motion animation to 2D animation to live action uh, to fictional short film to uh, art film. Um, the ones that we were involved in and Juncture 15 was involved in, um, we are doing some 2D animation uh, for sexual health and that's quite funky and down with the kids and all that. Um, and then we've got some stop motion animation which is for a film about depression. And um, the character that we created uh, and animated um, was designed to not have a particular gender, not have a particular race or age to it. So we hope that it can be quite broad across the spectrum on that. Um, and we worked with uh, some students from Staffordshire University who um, helped, well, actually did the animation for that. You can't do nothing right. I hide away from the outside world, I don't want to be part of it because I feel as though people are looking at me. I know you can't see it. Oi! You over there. What's it like to have no air? You want to know something? Here's the dirty truth about smoking. I used to smoke and I gave up because of this experience and what it's shown me about smoking and how it can harm you. So I think it's changed me, so I think it'll change other people as well. Uh, my name is Chris Stone, I'm an independent filmmaker and I've done the film The Outsiders, which is a um, smoking campaign, anti-smoking campaign with adult smokers. The film itself is a very unusual kind of structure. It's documentary and drama all blended together and it's really quite quite graphic and quite powerful. I think that's that's the key to kind of stopping people so, uh, smoking is to show them the, the true effects the full, and the full gory details. Originally I'm from Doncaster and I came to Staffs University to study film and really actually like the city. It's ex-industrial, much like Doncaster is. And, you know, a lot of people slag Stoke off and I don't really see why because I think we've got some really great things happening and we're on the cusp of some ama really amazing things happening and you've only got to look at like a project like Ward Stories that allows filmmakers to be filmmakers and professionals to be professionals while still engaging with the community so I think you're getting the best of both worlds. So coming somewhere like the Pottery's Museum and showing these films that the community have been involved in, it's their stories, it's great but You've also got to be quite proud when they go out outside of Staffordshire and say, yeah, these, these were made here in Stoke. Producing films in Stoke on Trent really does put Stoke on the map uh, for a key place of, of creative filmmaking.